never noticed that. How just the sound of a bird singing could be so beautiful. It makes a guy think, you know. Take the 22nd episode of season 1, for example. A bird in the hoof. With a title like that, that actually sounds kind of promising. You have this huge tea party thrown for Princess Celestia and they, she brings along this bird. I think you can call it that. Flush I noticed this and um, lo and behold she um, <clears throat> helps it. I would be sure that this is kidnapping but whatever I don't make the rules for ponies around here. So through many, many hilarious attempts of what I like to call another example of the entertaining obviousness, Fluttershy tries to cure this bird who, I'm going to be honest again, is a complete jerk-off. I mean, it doesn't eat the soup, it, it messes around with her equipment in her home. Seems kind of a twat to me. A little humour here and there, until you get Twilight knocking in, and she's all surprised that Fluttershy has, as she puts it, stolen the princess's bird. And despite her attempts to prevent Fluttershy from getting arrested, the guards find out, I think. They probably don't. But either way, a hilarious chase ensues around Ponyville via the not obvious Benny Hill music. I gotta admit, that's a little cute. But then, as Fluttershy is about to save the bird, woof, it explodes into dust, and Fluttershy is in tears. One must question. Why wasn't this episode this emotional before? If Fluttershy had just found this dying bird and took care of it that way, that would have made it more powerful, but leading up to this otherwise terrible moment, everything before that was just, I don't know, humorous. Kind of mixes in wrongly with the tone, wouldn't you say? But wouldn't you know it? This bird turns out to be a phoenix as it rises from the ashes and apologizes to Fluttershy for being such a thick twat. That's good enough for everyone else as Fluttershy is pardoned and Celestia is just like, eh. I like this episode a little more than the last one. Like I said, if it dove more into the emotional side of things, it would have been a lot better in my opinion, but hey, maybe that wasn't what it was going for, but you know what? A bird in the hoof really brings out the kindness in me, like Fluttershy gave to this bird. I am starting to see why people like this show of all ages. It lets people know that not everyone is mad or angry or evil. There is good in this world. And not to mention kind people too. And this episode, in one way or another, has definitely brought that back to me. to me. I realize now that the characters in the show are none which I've seen in years. They are actually likable. Especially Fluttershy. She has brought the kindness back in my heart. Oh It really does feel like the more episodes I watch, the more harmony is coming back. But you know what? I'm glad I got my kindness back, because without it, I wouldn't know what I'd be. Huh? What's that? Is it. I 
remember wearing this. I used to have it as a sort of nostalgia critic tribute, but... Wow. That brings back memories. But I'm getting the feeling that... Something is missing on the top. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 well, that brings back memories. I definitely remember doing it with this hat now. Yes, I know now what I have to do. I'm going to watch the rest of season one and reclaim the harmonies wherever they may call me. I know that this may seem crazy, stupid, ridiculous by all notion, but I've got a strong thing about the next episode. It warms the cockles of my heart.